everyone welcome to another video in which I will talk about the very important topic that everyone is seeking for an answer and that is lactose intolerance. Now what is lactose intolerance? Its causes, diagnosis and alternatives of dairy products. So let me begin with what is lactose intolerance. So what is lactose intolerance? And lactose intolerance ye wo condition hoti hai jisme hamari body is not able to digest lactose. And lactose kya hai? Lactose it is a sugar that is found in milk and other dairy products. To jin logo ko lactose intolerance hota hai, they are unable to break down lactose into simple sugars jin ko hum bolte hai, glucose and galactose. और उसकी वजह से it get passes through our digestive system undigested. तो जो most common cause है lactose intolerance का is जब हमारी body is not making the enough of enzyme जिसको हम बोलते हैं lactase which is found in small intestine and what does this lactase do? It helps to digest the lactose which is present in milk and dairy products. Now as you understood what is lactose intolerance, I would now introduce you to various types of lactose intolerance by which you can, under you can understand which condition you are facing. Now there are four types of lactose intolerance. Number one, primary lactose intolerance. Number two, secondary lactose intolerance. Number three, congenital lactose intolerance and number four developmental lactose intolerance now let's pick them one by one so sabse pehle hum baat karte hai primary lactose intolerance primary lactose intolerance it is the most common type and typically it develops with age to ye jo lactose intolerance hai primary ye sabse zyada paya jata hai and ye typically develop karta hai jaise jaise hum log age mein aage badhte jate hain and isme hota kya hai gradually hamari jo lactose ki production hai body mein wo decrease hone lag jata hai now let's talk about the second one that is secondary lactose intolerance ab isme kya hota hai this occur by the consequence of any injury or any damage that has taken place in our small intestine. So what happens? Either our small intestine is injury ki se damage or in our body is a disease because of our small intestine pe effect padta hai. and just that we lead to lactose intolerance. Now come the third one and that is congenital lactose intolerance. Now it is a rare genetic disorder which is present from birth where the body cannot produce lactose any at all. Now let's talk about the fourth one that is developmental lactose intolerance. Now what happens, this is seen in premature infants and what happens is that their small intestine is underdeveloped due to which it result in ability to hydrolyze lactase. But this condition, it can also increase and gets better with age by your small intestine also gets matured and it results in educate lactase activity. Now let's talk about the symptoms of lactose intolerance. So now we have talked about lactose intolerance, what are the types of it? But for us, it is necessary to know what are the symptoms of it. जिनसे कि हम ये रिकॉग्नाइज कर सकते हैं कि लैक्टोज इंटॉलरेंस हमको हो रहा है या होने के चांसेस हैं। So symptoms includes abdominal pain, bloating, gas, diarrhea, vomiting, weight loss, dehydration, electrolyte imbalance and nausea. So these are few symptoms of lactose intolerance. Now let's talk about diagnosis of lactose intolerance. So there are three types of tests that are being done to die to check if you are lactose intolerant or not. Number one is hydrogen breath test. 
number two is stool acidity test and number three is blood sugar test now in hydrogen breath test this test is basically done to measure the amount of hydrogen and methane gas in your breath when you exhale so if you have high level of these gases after ingesting the lactose that is because your gut bacteria are fermenting lactose producing gas in colon that can later be measured in the breath second comes stool acidity test now healthcare professionals they use this test basically in small children or in the infants so after feeding child with lactose they take a sample of stool and analyze the content so level of lactic acid and other by product in sample can show whether or not your body is absorbing the lactose last but not the least blood sugar test so this test it basically measures the sugar content in your blood before and after you ingest lactose so if your blood sugar level doesn't rise it shows whether or not the body is absorbing lactose now when we talk about treatment there are multiple treatments practiced and suggested by medical professionals so to begin with first and foremost comes avoid milk and other dairy products so instead you should look for dairy free alternatives that would help you gain all the nutrients that your body would require second comes lactase supplements so now by the help of pharmaceuticals there are supplements available that provide lactase enzyme to your body that helps break down and digest the dairy product so these supplements they are usually prescribed before consuming milk and dairy products now let's come to the nutritional part so a lot of people would think that why milk is an essential source of calcium and vitamin d in body which is true so to get these nutrients people can switch to alternatives like you can go for milk product you should look for soy milk almond milk and in food you can replace your dairy products with plant based products for example these days you can find plant based butter plant based ice creams tofu etc etc so these alternatives provide you with all the necessary nutrients that your body requires So this was all about lactose intolerance. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you and making better dairy-free choices. So if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who gets benefit out of it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Nikneha Blogs.